For you to want somebody to bring 97 items or 54 items to your apartment building and bring it to your door and you not tip them, you're out of pocket. You out of pocket for that. It's DDK and I'm here today with another door dash video. Huge shout out to everybody who's tuning into this video. I really appreciate you and I appreciate all the love and support. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Today we've got the GoPro, baby. We just bought the GoPro. So we're gonna get everything situated with that. And I'm gonna be the running today. So I'm gonna show you what I what happens when we go inside the uh, restaurants and the stores and when I drop the food and everything else. So, so you guys wanna make sure you stay tuned to the full video. And again, we're almost at the thousand mark of subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. This is all yeah, we got us one. Whamsky. Thanks, sir. Appreciate You're welcome. it. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna have a DoorDash order uh, number. What you call? DoorDash four two four. Four two four. So you're gonna have to take a picture. Well, I'm scared. Step back. Take a picture. Put you on this war war move. Usually every day around 9.34, between 9.34 and 9.36, they always do a Walmart run. There's usually like more than one order. Now this is not a grocery order. This is actually one item. So it says three items right here, as you guys can see. So for 1875 and it's 14.8 uh, miles. So we're gonna accept this. And then I'm gonna take you guys in the store so you kind of see exactly what you need to do when you get in there. Why when I get the order, I try to go in. Hurry up and go in because there's gonna be other people in line too. So if you're the first one, you can hurry up and get out the way and everybody else can get the order but you can start moving around fast 1875 for 14.8 miles which is more than a dollar a mile and it shouldn't take us that long to do it either so this is where you're going to come see where it says pick up right there you want to come over here and let them know yeah. how you doing uh doordash pickup for these three i'm drawing Oh, it's my GoPro. I was about to say, why you got that camera on you like this? Yeah. It's my GoPro for my YouTube channel. Okay, so I do the okay, door I see you, I see you. Okay, it's this one. Y'all, you can be on YouTube. <laughs> you want to be on YouTube? Y'all can be on it. As a matter of fact, y'all can go to my channel right now and subscribe. I need someone to subscribe. Where y'all phone at? Come on, go ahead and go in there and subscribe. I'm going to put it in for you. Look at that. Oh, you got that big one? Yeah, that right there. All this? You got that tissue behind you. This car. You gotta stick it up. That's a lot. It's $40, $17.99. That's how it yeah, you too. Come on, so I can put you in too. Or you can just show it to her. Uh, house reviews, car reviews. And now I'm doing this. You be one of the people running from the police all the time? No, 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 I don't do all that. I'm a real estate agent too, so this is it right here. Where your phone at? Come on, Jasmine, let's go. I was about to say, how do you know about me? Oh, so you Jasmine too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Bam, and just like that, we got the Walmart orders in the back. Now, this is called the Walmart play. I'm gonna give you the play, you gotta run You gotta run around. I'm gonna give you some little gems. I've never seen this on YouTube, so I'm gonna tell you about the gym, the Walmart gym. I know I said in the previous videos, don't take the Walmart orders, but this is a different type of Walmart order. This is not a grocery order, this is one item. So each person get one item. Now, it said 14.8 miles for 18.75, right? $18.75. Well, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go on Google Maps, you're gonna put the addresses in, and you're gonna adjust the address to make it a shorter route. 
So we're actually only going to do 9.2 miles for $18.75, which is about $2 a mile. And it's only going to take us 20 minutes to do this. So it's almost $1 a minute, two minutes per mile. So this is the Walmart play. 934 to 936, you're going to go to Walmart, you're going to get these orders. And as you guys saw, it's very simple. You're going to go in there, tell them your name, they're going to give you the thing, and you're going to good to go. Also, don't forget about the end game. The end game is you want to end up close to a prime location. So, for those of you familiar with area, we're in, we were in Waukegan Walmart. Now we're going to do the play. We're going to run the play, and then we're going to end up closer to Gurney. And then we're going to get the orders from there. So, I'll see you guys when we get to the first house. I'm Steve. Got the order. Sit right here. Then you're gonna boom. Get that picture. Sometimes if it's something expensive, you guys wanna make sure you try to call them if you can. Or you can try to hide it. So you can just try to put it like over there or something. Get that doorbell. Well, don't wanna believe this. You're not gonna believe this one. I'm gonna have a story time when I get back in the car. This is actually Oh, okay, so back to what we're supposed to be doing. This is an air fryer, so it's kind of a, more of an expensive item. So I want to try to knock on the door, and if they don't answer, I'm trying to give them a call. Because I just don't want to leave it out here. Even though it's a nice neighborhood, you just never know. It's time for story time. So, the neighborhood we just said, something happened in 2019, January 2019, right? I'm going to send it, put the email at the end, end of me having this discussion, but... For those of you who don't know, I am a real estate agent. And with being a real estate agent, you have to create your own leads. So one of the things that me and my business partner used to do to create leads was door knock. So we used to go to different neighborhoods and say there was a house um, a house for sale in your neighborhood. We'll go to that neighborhood, knock on the door, talk to the neighbor, say, hey, how you doing? Um, did you know your neighbor's house for sale? They're telling for this amount. Have you ever thought, thought about selling your house? So pretty much that was the whole spiel, what we used to do, right? So one day, it was freezing cold too, by the way. We went over there, we were door knocking. So I'm door knocking, boom, boom. And usually what we do is she goes on one side of the street or one end of the street and then we meet in the middle. So I come this way, she come this way. And then we go out, boom, 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 like that. Then we meet in the middle, right? So we door knocking, boom, boom. Then we're little door knocking. Some people answer, some people don't. If they don't answer, we put a card in the door. If they do answer, we talk to them, right? So boom. So I'm door knocking, I'm at this house, boom, 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 knock on the door. And it was dark, like, ah, right? So. Then I put my car in the door and I started walking there. Then I seen this car pull up phew, extra fast, like extra fast. And then I knew it was a police car when I went, how, what kind of car it was. It was like one of those old, uh, the, uh, the Crown Vicks. Pull up extra fast. No, it was in Paula, my fault, I'm wrong. Pull up extra fast. Phew. So I'm like, somebody in the car to pull up to me. Now, mind you, this has happened to me multiple times. So, so, so for those of you who think that this, um, the race thing doesn't happen it does because every time the police come they always come to me they so the car drove past my business partner and came directly to me so i'm thinking somebody didn't call the police something but what happened was this was actually the police officer house so what i did was i say hey how you doing my name is jerome i'm giving him my business card just so he know what's going on because i thought the, i thought it was a police officer who was coming to talk to me to him i can't do it no more because it has happened Give my business card, walk up to a greet, greet him. Yeah, how you doing? Ooh, I'm doing this, I'm a real estate agent. Ooh, ooh. Well, why are you at my house? So, no, that's, no, that's the first thing he said. The first thing he said was, why are you at my house? And then I was explaining to him that I'm, I'm a real estate agent, I'm just passing my business card and all that stuff. So, I don't want anybody house trying to sell me shit. Um, see, see this all already, already now. I already kind of got this bad vibe off this dude, like already, because he was extra aggressive. And honestly, one thing about me God, that you guys may not know is, I'm not a tough guy or anything, but I would not allow people to, you know, play with me like that. I, I, I just don't. I don't know why. Especially if I'm not doing it. If I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong. But this, in this particular situation, I wasn't in the wrong. I wasn't doing any wrong, anything wrong. I didn't come in off aggressive. I didn't do anything extra. I was actually very nice and kind to him. But I explained to him, to him what I was doing. So what happened was we got in a big argument to the, to the point where the neighbors, the neighbors started to come outside and stuff. So. We got into this big, huge disagreement because I have a problem with you. I'm a man just like you, and just because you got on this uniform, that don't mean nothing. Please watch how you talk to me because I ain't come at you in a certain way. So please have some respect and, and, and talk to me properly, just like I'm talking to you properly. So that's pretty much was the whole thing with that. So we got in a big disagreement. The neighbors came out and all this stuff. And then after that, right, 
I'm walking away. I'm walking away to go get my partner to let her know that he's saying that we can't do it because it's, it's really called soliciting. And what I was trying to explain to him, and he said, I don't, when he said, I don't want people coming to my house trying to sell me shit, I said, usually when somebody don't want nobody coming to your house trying to sell you shit, that they will have a no soliciting sign on the door. You a police officer, you should know this. I mean, I don't even understand why you acting like this is a big deal. You should already know this because you, you're an officer. So people who don't want people to listen, they just put no, no solicit on their door. It's very simple. But that went into a big thing. So I'm walking away, trying to get my business apart, let him know this. And he's saying that we have to leave. And then it gets even worse because he's thinking I'm just disobeying him, walking off and I'm about to go knock on some more doors. So you just going to keep on doing it? See, then, then it was the whole thing. So... <laughs> This story is to let you guys know that on the road to success, there is going to be some road bumps and there is going to be some people who try to stop you. You just got to keep on moving and grooving. No matter what, no matter the cost, no matter what it takes, you're just going to have to, it's going to come to territory. But at the end of the day, he did email me and apologize for his, he know he was wrong for what he did. He know he's wrong. I wasn't, I wasn't doing nothing crazy. I know that they saw me walking around the neighborhood. They kind of look a little suspect and all that stuff because you know how this go. But he did email me and apologize, and I appreciate him doing that because it's all about, you know, growing. And you know if you're wrong, you're wrong. As a man, you should apologize if you're wrong. As a woman or whoever, if you're wrong and you know you did wrong, you should apologize to them. So you guys want to make sure you keep that in mind. Be our little story. It is, what time? 10.23 right now. We're only at about... We only have $33 right now. So it's getting kind of slow, but it's going to pick up. Don't lose don't lose courage. Don't lose courage because it's going to happen. Just keep on. Stay tuned. And let's get back to it. For Walmart one. Happened pretty fast. 1875. Let me see if they hold. Um... <coughs> got another Walmart move. It says four items, 13.4 miles. It's, as you guys can see, it's 10.39. So it's kind of in the middle between breakfast and lunch, which usually we don't get that many orders at the time. So for this 19.25, we're gonna go ahead and accept this. Hopefully, 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 it's not an apartment, but it's the in-store pickup, so we should be good. Hello. I have a DoorDash pickup for Jerome. For Jerome? Mm-hmm. It should be like four items. Okay. And I'm taking this basket. It's freezing on this joint. Just so you guys know, some some uh, Walmart make you scan scan the items and some of them don't. For this particular one you have to scan it twice. Mm -hmm. We had to drop our last one off. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Bam, and just like that, we're done with the other Walmart order. We are now at $52.25, and it is currently 11 12 p.m. Well, a.m. Duh. But Everybody have different goals. Our goal is usually to get around over a hundred dollars, like a hundred plus dollars by two o'clock. And it's just about to hit lunchtime. We already at 5225. So now we're about to go down here because we're kind of close to where we were when we picked up the first Walmart order. So we're gonna go down here, try to get some lunch orders, and then try to push us back to the Gurney area, which is by the mall, which is by where usually a lot of people buy stuff from. So that's that's our plan. So we'll see what happened. I cut this camera back on when we get this next order. What? We got one. They want us to do. Well, we don't got one because we're not doing this. Just got another terrible order. Chipotle, 625 for 5.4 miles. So this is how I found out that DoorDash be finessing, right? The order before just said 5.2 miles. The same exact order as this one. This is my business partner's phone right here. This is my phone. Now it's changed to 4.9. We've been in the same exact spot. So I don't know how they, uh, they be, they be finesse. So you gotta watch them a little bit. And um, we only know this because, I got another one coming in. Oh, this is a terrible one too.
Go to ask for Stephanie C. Y'all stay warm, it's freezing out there. I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I like your GoPro. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. If y'all want to subscribe to it, I do um, house reviews, car reviews, and now I'm doing DoorDash, like videos of that. Cool. Yeah. What's the name on it? Uh, cars and Cribs. If you go in, I'll show it to you. Uh, where did you get the harness from? Uh, I think of Amazon. Amazon. Okay. You want to? You y'all? Y'all should do it too. What do y'all do? We are medical assistants and receptionists. Yeah, they might like people like people like everything nowadays. <laughs> okay, so we took this order for nine seventy five. And. I'm just going against everything I ever told you. <laughs> I'm just going against everything I told you, right? It was 975, two orders. Um, I forgot how many. Eight miles, seven. I don't even remember how many miles. But they have 26 items. A whole chocolate cake, 20 packets of ketchup, cheese sauce, onion rings, small french fries, large french fries, and the beef and cheddar casserole, which is going to be like a whole casserole, like a big thing, right? And it's going to cost, I think it costs $99, like $100. The trip says they're only gonna give us $3. Now, we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna let you guys know what happens when it happens. I don't know if I was holding the camera, I mean, holding the phone right, but this is the order. Excuse me, question for you. Is the ketchup package in here or are you not sure? No. It's supposed to be 20 ketchup packages. Okay. All right. There goes nothing, guys. Let's see. It's actually a hospital, too. Hello. Can you sanitize your hands and put on a new mask? No, I'm okay. Do I, do I have to? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. Um, I have a DoorDash delivery for... Nope. Maybe I'll just give her, I think I can give her a call. Yeah, I can give her a call, because we have some people here. Alrighty. It's a disaster. Lady got attitude. These people tripping. So, I think I did only get three dollars. I'm not sure. But I do know the people in the hospital is out of control. You know you gotta go in there, you gotta go in there you have to put sanitizer on and you have to wear their mask. I can't wear my own mask. I got to put their mask on. Then when I get in there, the lady at the front desk got a little attitude. Like, dude, I don't know what y'all doing, but I don't know. Maybe we have to wait till we done to the second order in order to find out if we got more than $3. But yeah, you guys got to see a little bit of that too. I had to I turn it off so I won't waste the battery, but I turned it back on because the people was in there out of control, man. They got a little attitudes and I can't, they said leave it at the front desk on the thing, right? I can't leave it at the front desk. Like, ladies, just these people out of control. All right. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great day. Okay. Just got back in the car. I'm about to press this button. See, so y'all can see it. Uh, where the camera at? Right here. Boom. I handed the last one to the customer. So, we're gonna see how much we got. This one paid eight twenty-five. So we know that for sure. At least eight twenty-five. And it's a customer. Matter of fact, I'm turning this one so you can see it on here too. And we only made one more dollar. And this one gave us the one more dollar. These, see, that's what I'm talking about. Mind you, this was like six miles away. We're in Gray's Lake in Gurney. We was in Gurney at first. Now we're in Gray's Lake. Them mugs really gave us no tip at all. And they paid $99 for the, right. for the uh, meal. This, see, this is what, this is what we talk about. This is why you'll take chances right here. But I had to show you guys the reason why you shouldn't take chances because people do stuff like this. I mean, don't get me wrong. The order wasn't super bad in the first place with the 11.25, and we actually got 12. Turn this one off. We actually got 12.25. We just got one more dollar, but that was from the last one. Why would you do that? Oh man, you anyway. <laughs> so. Thank you, what's no tip? Can y'all believe that? People are out of control. I'm, I'm going on the rant right now. I'm going on the rant. I'm about to do the rant. So, people, you are out of control. You want us to do all this work. You want us to go. Mind you, this was six 
And and doing that, you knew damn well the motherfuckers didn't give us no tip. That's the reason why you put them together like that. You knew, you knew that because nobody would have took that order going all the way six miles away for three dollars. They wouldn't have did that. And now they put them together, they combine them together, so you wouldn't know. That's the thing about DoorDash. They had like a hidden tip system too. I just feel like it shouldn't be a hidden tip. It should just tell you exactly how much it is, so you know exactly what you get into before you get into it. But I understand why, because people like that, they just ordered $99 worth of stuff and they didn't even give a tip at all, zero tip. So, also, the people with the groceries. Why do you think this, oh, I don't understand who raised y'all, who, who thought, why do y'all think it's okay to not tip people? I'm just not saying this because I'm doing door dance. I'm just talking about in general, regardless of the simple fact. The only way I'm not tipping somebody is if they have a nasty, terrible attitude. That's the only way I'm not tipping you. But, for you, for the grocery people, for Walmart orders, for you want somebody to bring 97 items or 54 items to your apartment building and bring it to your door and you not tip them, you're out of pocket. You're out of pocket for that. And I know some people might say, well, what if they ain't got it? If you ain't got it, then maybe you should get your ass up and go to the store yourself. You shouldn't have nobody else driving, doing all this. They don't even cover the gas just to get there. Y'all people be out of pocket, man, I'm real. Damn, they really ain't tip us. That's crazy. It, I don't even. I don't even know what to say about it. Cause all I want to say is, y'all gotta do better, man. Y'all should not. Don't do that. I can see if they were rude or they had a nasty attitude or, or things like that, and you didn't tip them. But for you to have somebody come all the way from Grays, they can go all the way six miles. I, it may be even more. I'm not 100 percent sure. And you not tip them nothing. And on top of that, if y'all seen in the clip, I don't know if it's in the clip, I actually made sure I got these 20 packets of ketchup too on top of that. Excuse me, question for you. Is the ketchup package in here or are you not sure? It's supposed to be 20 ketchup packages. <laughs> I went over and beyond, they didn't give me nothing. But that's the nature of the game, it comes with the game. So. It is now 129, and now we're way out the way. We're not, we're way out of the zone. So in the zone, let me show y'all. This zone right here, boom, right? You see how it's, this is us over here. We're supposed to be over here. That's where we were there before. So we gotta get back over here. So we gotta get back over to get an order so we can get back right. But it's already 129. I'm not sure how much we're at. I'm gonna add it up and I'll let you guys know. Right, we're not no, because we're trying to get the hundred by two o'clock. I think we added. So I added up. We're actually at only ninety dollars and fifty cents. Today has been pretty slow. If you guys, honestly, it's been pretty slow. Um, usually around two o'clock, we usually be like most days we like at one twenty something by two by time two o'clock here. It's actually one fifty right now. The GoPro died, so I couldn't take you guys when when I went to um, Red Robins. We do have another order for five seventy five, and it's literally down the street. Even this guy tipped, and we're going down the street versus going. It's just, I'm, I'm still mind blown about this. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's still on my on my mind. But honestly, I'm never going back there again. First off, the, the receptionist has an attitude problem. You got to do all this, wear different masks, and put sanitizer on, and do. All. I ain't trying to do all. I'm just trying to come here, drop the food off, and be done with it. So, Grays Lake Hospital, I would not be coming back again. You're on the blacklist. I told you guys, you got to put stuff on the blacklist. So, we're about to go in here. Drop this food off, and we might hit not hit the goal. We were going to be at, I mean, we we're going to see. I'm just going to cut the camera on when I get back. So I'm back. Just got back in the car, and we only got the 575, which is cool. It actually wasn't a bad, a bad deal at all. A bad deal at all. So we're at, where we at? Where was we at before? We was at 90.50, and then we got 575, so we're at 96.25. So we had 96.25. So we didn't hit the goal. I did get another one though. I gave, I got one for Denny's to go up there, but I didn't take it. It wasn't that far either, but I didn't take it because I, it was like 4.5 miles. So we could have hit the goal, but it would have been like stretching. You don't want to stretch it and uh, try to be too thirsty. You want to be hungry, but not thirsty. You be too thirsty, and you end up like I just, <laughs> I just was like I ain't get no tip. Sometimes you're not going to hit the goal, but we still got dinner time. We already had 95 dollars. I'm 96 dollars, 96.25. And it's just gonna get greater later. I'm actually, in the beginning of the video, I said I was just gonna do, I was gonna separate the video in three videos. I'm putting this all in one video because I just wanna put it all in one time because we didn't hit the goal, so we gotta see how much we really hit at the end of the night. And I want, I want to let you know it's not about how you start, but how you finish. 
So, so it's the end of the night. It's 10 21 p.m. We've been at it since about 8 o'clock. We got the GoPro going and everything. We had to fix that all up and we've been going since 8. It's been a long day, but we did stop from like 2.30 to 5.30. So it's been a decent little day. We made $208.50. Now, to be honest with you guys, today was kind of a slow day for us. If it was at a faster pace, because it was pretty slow for the most part. We did catch up at the end, but it was kind of slow, to be honest. If it was like a normal day, we probably would have made like maybe 300 or something like that, or close to 300 or something like that. But the most we ever made was $400 in one day. But you're gonna have to put the work in if you want to, and the orders have to flow in. And usually it happens on Fridays. And I'm also starting to learn that Mondays is a good day to DoorDash too, because a lot of people, they, they had a good weekend, they got it in and all that, they got teed up and all that stuff. And then they forget to bring their lunch and all that stuff, so they don't want to be bothered. So Fridays and Mondays, Sundays too. But for the most part, it was a pretty good day. I'm very tired, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you are subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. And it's going down, baby. We got the GoPro now. We, we, we trying to make some moves, but I'll see you guys on the next one. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.